All right, so whenever I do a Q&A on Instagram, I mostly notice questions like how to take better photos, is my camera good enough, and all kind of questions like that. And exactly that's why I want to talk about beginner photography mistakes a little bit, because yeah, most of the beginner photographers could easily avoid a lot of mistakes if they follow a couple of tips. So yeah, let's talk about that. Okay, so what's up everybody and welcome back to another video on this channel and I hope you all had a fantastic day. And yes, today it's time to talk about some easy beginner photography tips and tricks that I highly recommend, especially if you're just getting started. And the first tip that we need to talk about is all about gear. And yes, if you watch a couple of YouTube videos, you will notice that a lot of people are working with these high-end cameras like the Canon EOS R5, R6 or any Sony cameras. And of course, these kind of cameras are really good. I mean, I use the Canon EOS R5 here to record this video, but of course, these kind of photography photographers that I'm talking about are photographers for a long period of time. And yes, as I started, I just had my iPhone and after some time I bought my first DSLR, which was the Canon 80D. So I didn't have any expensive cameras to learn all the basics. Instead, I used all kind of gear that I already had or that was in my budget area. And yes, in most cases, I actually used my Canon 80D in combination with a cheap 50mm 1.8 and a cheap tripod like that. So if you currently have an entry-level DSLR, for example, don't worry, that's still fine and you can take good pictures with these kind of cameras. Because in the end, the most fundamental thing, especially as a beginner photographer, is to learn all the photography basics. So everything about ISO, aperture, shutter speed and all these kind of settings, because that's what actually matters if you want to get started. And of course we need to talk about the auto mode, because yeah, I know this is super easy and you don't have to worry about all kind of settings, but actually that's a mistake here. In the end, these settings define how your image will look like. So if you just use the auto mode, it is most likely that your image won't be as good as it could be. And on top, the auto mode doesn't know how your image should look like. It just tries to figure out the best settings that might work in this situation. So learning the basics and actually have full control is one of the most important steps here. It's not gear, software, or all kind of things like that. In the end, it's the image that you took that defines if the picture is good or not. And as an example here, if you can't take good pictures with your current DSLR, you won't take better pictures if you use a Canon EOS R5 for example. So actually don't worry about all these high-end cameras. In most cases after some time you will realize that your current gear is holding you back or that maybe some new features might be better to get the shots that you want to have. But especially for just getting started it's actually not necessary to spend a lot of money on gear that you maybe don't really need. So instead actually get out there, take more photos and learn all the basics first before you start to buy all kind of expensive gear. But what's about actually taking photos and well in this case one of my biggest beginner mistakes was to not actually move around. And yeah, this is one of the most common mistakes because it is way easier to take a photo from an angle or position that is in your comfort zone. But in most cases you can take way better images if you start to move around and try different angles and positions to get the shot. Especially in the photography niche, the easiest way won't help you to take stunning photos. But if you go the extra step and get closer or maybe low on the ground to take the image, you can take different and way better photos. And another quick tip here, in most cases I simply use the flip out screen as an advantage to test a variety of angles and positions before I actually start to take images. In my opinion, this makes it way easier to figure out what's actually working and what's not working. But in the end, what you should keep in your mind is that always try to make it as easy as possible for you to get those good results. Another really important tip that we need to talk about is to not put too many things into your image. I always recommend to set a focus on one key element and the next step is to try to let this key element stand out. So for example, by adjusting the camera settings or even as I already mentioned, by using different angles and positions. Because yes, in the end, if there are too many things in one image, it is possible that the viewer won't know what the key element is or maybe there is just too much going on. So what I always recommend is to double check the image in the preview. So if you have taken a photo, actually zoom in to see if the focus is on point or maybe you need to use a different aperture settings and all these kind of things. And yes, as a beginner photographer, I always thought that everything will be fine. But in the end, in Lightroom, I noticed that the focus wasn't on point or my shutter speed settings were wrong. So it's actually better to slow down a little bit while taking photos to be sure that you actually got the shot. But to wrap it up here really quickly, in most cases you can take way better images if you stop caring about all these high-end cameras. Instead, set your priority on creativity and learn how to use your gear in the best possible way to achieve the best possible image quality. Especially whenever I think about my first photos that I took with my first DSLR, they were all bad because I had no idea how to use it properly. And exactly that's why it's so important to learn all the basics first before you buy an expensive camera because you need that experience first. But yeah, these are a couple of tips and tricks that I wish I knew as 
as a beginner photographer. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.